What is up everybody, Lynn Ray here. So, early this morning while I was taking my much needed shower after the gym, right before my hot water started turning cold, <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm very grateful I have hot water. Um, but uh, it did get cold on me after about five minutes, which was very disappointing. But right before that happened, I was, I was in the shower and I was just thinking, you know, I was just just thinking about my lack of knowledge about college growing up. Growing up. I always say growing up, gup. So when I was younger, when I was in the eighth grade, uh, actually right after eighth grade during that summer, uh, my mom, she enrolled me into this, uh, this, you know, we always have the summer activities. You know, I either, either have the, you know, the little summer classes or I'll go to my, my aunt's house, which is, you know, in San Antonio, Austin area. You know, there's always some type of activity going on in the summers. But this particular summer, I was, uh, my mom enrolled me into this computer class. It was a, um, it was just called, I think it was just called computer programming. You know, there at the time that's just what it was called. Now people call it software development. Um, so I was enrolled into this computer class after eighth grade, and I really enjoyed it. Like it was something that um, it was something that I, I honestly I actually looked forward to every single day. I looked forward to going to computer programming class. So I can get on those computers and play around and, and make games and things like that. So we, we did lots of little games. We made games like Pong and um, little like games like Arkanoid. I don't know if anyone remembers those games, but we actually made very simple games like that. And it was it was very fun, very you know empowering. Like I was actually I was really learning lots of stuff. I really enjoyed it, bottom line. So fast forward, you know, I get into high school, I would actually go to the local college and play on their computers. But like any other young male, very easily distracted. We're easily we're distracted by lots of things. That that shiny, that shiny coin syndrome there. So oh, there's a shiny coin. I'm going after that now. So while I was in, you know, while I was in high school, you know, I would go to the local college, I would play on our computers. Uh, but I also found this one website called College Club. Just in my just dinking, you know, around on the computers, I found this one website called College Club. I don't even know if College Club is even still an active website. I have no clue. But College Club was basically kind of like an online site. It was kind of like what, uh, similar to what Facebook was at the time. But this was for, you know, this is, it was called College Club, but it was kind of like a, um, just a little meeting site. So you would talk to people from different colleges. And I'm in high school, you know, talking to girls and all over the United States, just kind of random BS, something, you know, stuff that really wasn't that beneficial for me. And I got distracted from one of the, the initial reasons, the, the, the reasons that I actually would go to the college in the first place. I went to the college to play on computers, to figure stuff out, you know, just to, you know, kind of have fun too. But primarily it was just to be on these really new computers because, you know, the computer we had at home was this really, really old Apple computer, which in hindsight was actually, could have been a decent computer to actually learn software development, you know, to, to learn that computer programming that I was, that I really enjoyed. But I was, you know, it was a shiny syndrome thing. Up oh, the college has the really cool computers. I'm going there to use their computers. So, is this my turn? No, this isn't my turn. So, I was distracted by a the shiny computers at the college, and then b the the the, the college club website that that got me off into you know all types of riffraff. Then. You know, further along, I, you know, I, I'm in high school, I start playing sports and I meet new people, I'm get, having more friends and, you know, uh, there's girls and all of these things. There's other stuff involved in there too. We'll keep this PG. But there was, you know, there's just all this stuff that's happening, you know, all these little shiny, you know, these little shiny objects all around the place. 
And so I was distracted again from, from a lot of the things that would have been beneficial for me. So I'm saying that to say this, you know, this isn't like a complaining session. This isn't a, I shoulda, coulda, woulda done this type of session. But the point of this is don't let distractions come into your life. So let's fast forward to now or at least the last like four to five, four years or so. Uh, yeah, about four years. There has been a major increase in software development jobs. A major increase, like, like software development has always been a big thing, right? Um, you know, starting, starting back in the, the, the mid nineties or so. But now it's like, there's this massive flow of these you know, software development jobs, which are super high paying. Like these guys are getting paid, you know, just with very little schooling. These guys are getting paid, you know, decent, really good money. And it just makes me think, you know, what would have happened had I, A, asked the right questions while growing up, you know, should I, you know, the right questions about college, you know, tuition and stuff like that. Cause for me at the time I had no, I really had no clue. Like for me, I thought college was, you get into college, you go to college three, uh, a few different ways. You know, you get an academic scholarship, an athletic scholarship, your parents have money, join the military and go to college, um, or you have to work a whole year to pay off like a year's tuition. Like I really had no clue on what it, oh crap, I can't park here. I really had no clue on what it took to, to actually go to college. Um, it's just very, very, very little knowledge on that subject. And so that, that's kind of the, that's kind of the point of this. You know, there was, I was distracted. Like I was so distracted. I didn't ask the right questions. I didn't, you know, I didn't continue to seek out that, uh, that, uh, the, the initial shiny object, which was the computer programming class. You know, I didn't continue to seek out, you know, how to, get deeper into that and when I did seek out when and when you know when I did do that I was distracted by other shiny objects aka college club you know basketball you know friends girls you know all of those things I was just distracted by a lot of those things so that's kind of it, you know, the, the, the big thing is, you know, distractions are going to be in our life. We're going to always be distracted. You know, there's, well, not, we're going to, we're not going to always be distracted, but things are always going to come into our lives and, and take us away from the, the important thing in our life. But it's, but it's up to us to, to take that, you know, take those distractions and then, you know, do away with them. Just go, go on to, you know, block them out however you can, and and uh, and you know, and 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 keep on going after that initial that initial goal. Sorry, I'm doing some acrobatics here. Oops, I was parked in the in the wrong spot there. I was parked in the and so I'm gonna park in the, in the, the correct spot here, so I don't get a ticket. Boom. Two spots over. So that's kind of it. That's kind of it, guys uh, and gals. Uh, it's funny. I was looking at my little YouTube uh, statistics, and I think it said 3.7% females watch my videos, and then the rest were males. And so, so mostly guys, but uh, guys and gals, if you're watching. So, yeah. I, uh, that's pretty much all I got guys and gals. Thanks for watching the videos. I'll talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment, and peace.